depression has been the deepest since the end of the World War II, that is 76 years ago. The global economy contracted by 3.3% in 2020, a 6.7% decline relative to the 3.4% growth forecast by the IMF back in October 2019. Growth in Sub-Saharan Africa was minus 1.9%. Ghana achieved a 0.4% growth. From the very first day that the coronavirus arrived here in Ghana, in March 2020, the government of President Nana Dudanga Kufado recognized the dark consequences that it will have on our economy, particularly on jobs, and on our ability to raise revenues to meet both the cost of managing the pandemic and government's regulars not know how to do this than their livelihoods. Mr. Speaker, therefore, the hardship that COVID-19 pandemic visited on people's lives, the stress on parents, the frustration of young people, the negative impact on businesses for both employers and employees, the worsening of the unemployment situation, the effect on the public debt, and the stress on revenue mobilization was unprecedented, but expected. Indeed, no country in the world had prepared for the crisis that unfolded. That is why leadership was therefore assessed by the measures that individual countries and their respective leaders took to deal with the crisis. Here in Ghana, we took responsible, innovative 2020. I came before this house to present what I called an extraordinary media fiscal policy review of the 2020 budget statement and economic policy and secured more funds to provide an immediate and appropriate response to the severe economic impact of the pandemic. In addition, the 2021 expenditure in advance of appropriation presented to this House on 28th October 2020 saw to the uninterrupted delivery of government business in the first quarter of this year and the ongoing implementation of the 2021 budget and economic policy of Friday 12th March. It's Mr. Speaker, let me repeat, I'm not here today to ask for more money, I have not come. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I'm not here today to ask for more money, I have not come, I have not come. programs address the concerns of our fellow Ghanaians, especially our youth, and demonstrate our commitment to create sustainable and inclusive opportunities for all. Mr. Speaker, in fulfillment of our completion pledge, we have completed a number of projects and activities, including but not limited to the fourth year interchange at Poco 